tell me about growing up here. Do you have a favourite memory at this ground? Yeah, favourite memory was probably when I was under sixes. Um, my coach told me, Joe Karam at the time, told me to just run past the whole team. So I just stepped, stepped, stepped and ran past it. That was just something that stuck with me. When did you think, hey, I want to do this for a job? Hazard or Masri was a big one for me, especially back in the days when they won in 04. I remember mum was always telling me, you know, like, only 1% make it. Like, I know mum was even having... <laughs> thanks, mum. I know, thanks, mum. You know, and then I was like, when you think about it, it's true. And at the time, that's when I said, you know what, like, I, I want this so bad. Did you always back yourself? I always did. I always knew I had the ability. I just needed the good opportunity. So to keep chasing that dream, you had to move to Townsville, which for your culture yeah. is a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal for us because we're not really allowed to move out until we're married. So when that opportunity came, I remember my grandmother, she was getting angry at my mum, like saying, like, how can you let him go? You know, it was my dream. And I, I, when the opportunity came about, I said, you know, I need to do this. You could say that I did have doubts, but I knew I had the ability. I just needed the opportunity. And eventually that came. At yeah. your childhood club, the Bulldogs, how did it come about? They were keen on me since I remember SG Ball when I went to Dragons, they wanted me back straight away. <laughs> so when the opportunity came to go to the Dogs, my parents were telling me it's a risk. And I said, listen, I'm telling you now, like, I need to do this. If this is who I want to be, I want to take this risk. And what about the debut? Do you remember it clearly? I got a phone call from my New South Wales Cup coach saying, um, listen, can you come early, watch video? There's a couple of boys that are sick, and I didn't think anything of it. I went in the video and I was with Foxy, and I was like, wow, like, they shook me, I was with Foxy. But then the coach came in on the meeting and said, listen, um, you're playing. What were those emotions like when you ran out? I was so excited to get out, and I just didn't know what to expect. I remember we were standing in the line for Anzac round, and that's when I looked up to the crowd, and it was some call, I think it was 30,000. So that's when it hit me hard. I was like, okay, this is it now. He got a pass away to Karaz. Hasn't he been good? Here he goes. Tackle a metre away from the line, the debut's on. You're a very driven young player, but I imagine a big part of that too is your brother Joseph, who's been battling leukaemia. You know, when he got leukaemia, it was a big shock for me and my family. He's been my inspiration and, um, you know, whatever he's going through, I, it pushes me to go harder and um, it's good he's in remission now. He has like a week left and then he's done, so thank God for that. Well, how confronting was it seeing him go through that? Waking up every day, he's saying that, you know, he doesn't feel normal. Um, you know, it hurts, but, you know, it's like I said, it pushed me and my family to be stronger, so yeah. Karaz, they won't stop him! Jacob Karaz with the try for the Bulldogs! Get those two bags of voice for those two blokes that try to tackle him. How do you best sum up what your family means to you? They mean the world to me, you know, they sacrifice everything for me, my parents especially, they, you know, they gave me and my brothers and sisters everything. Nothing beats your family. Even now, just have my last name on my back and make my family proud it means the world to me. Now a chance. They're away again. Here's Karaz. He shows it. Goes straight past Gunderson. It is all the Bulldogs. So you were destined to play first grade and getting to play alongside your childhood hero, Josh Reynolds. I used to love Josh Reynolds. He was my favourite player, the way he played with his passion. And to play with him meant the world to me, honestly. I love the way he is as a person, the way he plays, and I'm so happy you know, I played with him, and I can say that down the track.